I don't see the advantage of uh, getting lost in uh, pointless constitutional wrangling when, after all, we had uh, a referendum not so very long ago. Don't forget the very same people who make the point that you just made and who go on and on about uh, another referendum also said uh, only a few years ago, only in 2014, that this was a once in a generation uh, event. And that was the one. I, I'm uh, inclined to stick with what they said last time. And we don't actually know what that referendum would set out to achieve. We don't know what the point of it would be, what, what, what happens to the, the army, what happens to the crown, what happens to the pound, what happens to the foreign office, what happens to the security. Nobody will tell us what it's all meant to be about. They had one in, in 2014. And I think what people do want is to focus on the issues that really matter. Uh, I think jobs, uh, the educational performance of the Scottish National Government, uh, I don't believe has been brilliant, their performance on fighting crime, on drugs, those are the things that I think people need to focus on. Uh, uh, but above all, on fighting this pandemic and coming back more strongly together. I have to say, I think endless talk about uh, a referendum without any clear uh, description of what uh, the constitutional situation would be after uh, that referendum is completely irrelevant now to the concerns of most people uh, who I think want us to beat this pandemic and come through it strongly together. And, and as I say, I think you can see the uh, amazing contribution of, of Scotland, of Scottish scientists, uh, of, of Scottish people to the national effort, and I don't, I don't want to break that up.